Anthony says, what's the biggest problem in our culture and why is it feminism? Anthony Acorsi, my guy. <laughs> you know who this is? Yeah, of course I do. I love you. I love you, Anthony. <laughs> okay. That's such a good question. I figured he'd ask, ask that. Did you have an answer to it? Or? Uh, uh, he answered it. <laughs> oh, yeah, fair he, answered it. Uh, he also asks, how do we get back to true masculinity and femininity within the church and broader culture? I, I got a point I want to make here, and that yep. is that it seems like we've left the path of reason and we need to give people grace as they find their way back to it. So I don't find it terribly interesting when women do the trad wife YouTube videos where they pretend, you know, they're just walking out onto the porch in the morning and drinking their coffee and serving their husbands all day. Right. But I also don't want to slam them because we've been raised without role models and we're trying to get back to something. What makes you think they're pretending though? Okay, yeah, fair enough. Maybe they're not pretending, but it would seem to me that the quality of some of these videos takes a, a bit ton of, of time you to mean? do. It looks it maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, it looks like that. Like I don't think my wife has ever thought uh about filming herself making cereal or filming herself making dresses for the children uh, the way it's done it feels like it's more to appeal to men to tell them what great wives they are but maybe i'm wrong it could i think my point my point is simply that we shouldn't actually shit on these women that's that my point isn't that we should but just that um we don't have good role models as men and women we've been born into the aftermath of the sexual revolution and we need to give people grace as we try to figure out what masculinity and femininity look like again because quite honestly our culture if that's what we can call this thing doesn't know what men and women are what sex is what marriage is so bloody hell yeah it's a it's a it's a mess it's a it's a total it's a total mess so yeah i'm not going to disparage these these trad wives either i personally think a lot of them it, it's a larp as well but if you're looking at the overall social media landscape, I'd rather take that than the OnlyFans model, you know, plaster yourself everywhere. So I'm yeah. not I'm not sure what the answer is besides returning to the church, um, seeking very wise counsel within the church and doing your best to uh, raise a virtuous and God loving family in your mm -hmm. respective roles as patriarch and, and wife and mother and homemaker. Because when those, when those things are in harmony, not that there's sometimes not. This is something that Tim said that was really, really good. Tim Gordon. Not everything's a symptomology, guys. So like when you're in a traditional marriage, I'm in a traditional marriage, there's going to be some things that happen. Like she's not always going to perfectly follow my authority. <laughs> and I am not always going to perfectly mm -hmm. uh, uh, wield that authority either. But it's not a symptom that she doesn't respect me or she's not obedient to me. Mm -hmm. Or it's not a, a, a symptom that I'm a tyrant. We're just flawed human beings trying to figure this thing out. And I just think that I think the object, the goal should be to get it right most of the time because the rest of it, that's where grace comes in. Otherwise, we wouldn't have to repent and go to confession and try to just, okay, I'm going to pick myself up and try to do this again. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like and subscribe.